Wait, is Marigold pregnant? It looks like she's wearing pregnancy clothes in her portrait photo. Oh my God. Oh, she's totally pregnant. I can already tell. I can tell she's pregnant. I know it. I just feel it in my bones. Oh, here she is. Here she is. Here she is. Is she pregnant? Is she pregnant? Oh my God. Oh my God. The anticipation is killing me. The anticipation is killing me. Yep, she's pregnant. <laughs> Oh, Quinn, please. You need to be careful when you do these things. Oh my god. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 3 Supernatural Leprosy Challenge. In the last episode, Penelope and Jules had twin baby girls, Harlow and Georgia, but Jules also moved out in the last episode because him and Penelope are now separated and I think it's pretty safe to say that they probably won't be getting back together. So another announcement that I have to make is in this episode, I'm sure as you can tell by the scattered boxes we have here all over the house, we have some over here in the hallway, Ross has some in his room, we've got some downstairs in the living room, and just like literally in every room everyone is packing because Penelope received a call from her parents Jack and Ariella and they said because the household is so full and they have been living in this house for quite a while now they are going to move them into a brand new bigger place that they are going to be renting out and this one I guess will go up for sale but I am very excited to show you guys what that place is going to look like it is nine o'clock now we're gonna let our sims finish up packing and then tomorrow during the day on monday we will have them move to the brand new place i am just so excited also in the last episode theo and cassandra got married at the courthouse which is something i actually have never done before in my own sims games i've never done like a courthouse sort of marriage and i honestly think that they did it well i know that they did it because cassandra got pregnant by theo <laughs> So their whole story storyline was basically Cassandra was saving herself because she's religious. She was saving herself from marriage. And then I don't know if it's something that Theo said or she was just really feeling it in that moment. But yeah, she gave up her TT before marriage and got pregnant the first time that she gave up her TT. So uh, now they are married <laughs> and that's going to be exciting to navigate. But she wants to have a baby boy and Theo wants to have a baby girl. So maybe they'll be, if, if there's twins, you know, and there's not the same sex, then they both can complete those wishes, but someone will get their wish completed. I just don't know who it is. We need to have her definitely go to the hospital though, so that she can get her ultrasound, make sure she's taken all her prenatals, that sort of thing. So we'll have her do that as well uh, when we move out. She's not gonna be able, be able to do any heavy lifting of the boxes and furniture and that sort of stuff. Actually they're gonna leave all their furniture here and jack and ariella are gonna kind of like factor it she just get she just got singed it's so weird because her baby bump disappears when she gets singed because i don't know i guess they just didn't make a pregnancy morph on the baby bump but i'm gonna have her go and take a shower that doesn't seem too healthy for the baby the fact that she gets she just got blown up in the garage when she's pregnant i don't know sadly ross's garden is also going to have to go bye bye there is a garden at the brand new place and i will definitely give you guys a tour a grand tour and i will also mention the crater which his link will be at the top of the description one of my lovely twitch and youtube viewers here diego he's frequents my streams very often offered to make me a house for the family i'm just so excited about it he did such a great job it's the exact styling of moonlight falls so i think it fits so well with the entire world and i could not ask for a better house so thank you so much diego if you guys would like to download it there will be a link at the top of the description box and i'm just excited to show you guys so i'm gonna send everyone off to bed i forget that cassandra has no place to sleep 
Um, <laughs> well, because I would say, I would argue that Cassandra needs the bed, I'm gonna have her go to sleep in Ross's bed, and then Ross can sleep on the couch. I mean, he's a really sweet guy, so I feel like he would give his bed up for the pregnant Cassandra. Speaking of Ross, I don't know when we're gonna have Ross and Gator move out together. I don't know what they're, when they're gonna get married. I don't know if they themselves have any plans, actually. I kind of feel like they don't have any plans to move out or anything like that. Like, they're, they're kind of just taking life one step at a time, especially, especially, oh my god, Quinn is so exhausted. I am so sorry, Quinn. He's been sitting here since nine o'clock. I don't know why he didn't head home in the carpool. That's so weird. Anyway, he is exhausted as well. So I'm going to have him head to bed too. But I was going to say, I just don't think Ross and Gator are too sure of themselves yet where they're, when they're going to get married. And I don't think they're in a rush because they're both supernaturals and they both have ridiculously long lives. So I think werewolves have longer than usual lives. Actually, we can check. No, werewolves have a normal lifespan. Okay, well, I was wrong. So <laughs> Gator definitely has a time limit. Ross, not so much. Ross does not have a time limit. Oh, be quiet. Your brother's sleeping in here, Quinn. He's like screaming through the living room. I'm going to have Stefan stop playing the game. He's been playing the game with his brother like all night. I wonder if their relationship is really high now. Yeah, they're really close. That's so cute. So they have 51.2 points. Wow, that's a weird, that's 51.2 points. <laughs> it's weird to say that. I'd like make sure i was saying it right but there is a they're they're quite close now and, I, and i'm very happy for them so i'm gonna send stefan also upstairs to go and head to bed the whole household is just getting ready for bed or already in bed and uh where is florian oh my god poor florian penelope totally just went to sleep oh no she didn't okay she's a good mom she didn't go to sleep without putting her baby to sleep <laughs> For now, I'm putting the twins in Penelope's room. Penelope's room in the new house is so beautiful, guys. It's green because obviously her favorite color is green. And it also has some Chinese artifacts in it because Wu Zhao in the next episode will be moving in with Penelope. And Wu Zhao has already sent over some of her furniture and that sort of stuff so that it can populate and like take up the brand new house. She mailed her furniture. She sent it across the world <laughs> to make sure that it would be put up in Penelope's new house. And obviously it's not just Penelope's house. It's like the whole family's house. Honestly, none of them own the house. It's Jack and Ariella that have like the final say when it comes to the house. They're just living in the house. You know what I mean? You guys, you guys feel me? Oh no, she just put him in the high chair and didn't even give him any baby food. What was the point of that Penelope? Can I ask? Okay, now she's just gonna go. Oh, you woke Ross up. Oh, I'm so sorry, Ross. I know you can sleep over here now, honestly. I think if I, I don't think he will wake up if the baby's crying because this is like counts as a wall or something or I don't know. I don't know how that works, but I'm pretty sure if Florian cries again, he won't wake up. So he's just going to go and sleep on the couch. Um, does he have work in the morning? I think he does, doesn't he? Yeah, he is working seven hours. Okay, well, that was a poor timing on the whole moving thing, wasn't it? <laughs> really poor timing. I probably should have moved in like yesterday, but I just didn't, I, I didn't want to throw everything in the beginning of this episode and have us do like a million things at once and like juggle stuff okay florian's gonna go put in his crib and georgia i'm gonna have her go and take care of georgia in the brand new house all the rooms are customized for my sims favorite colors and they're all customized to, like their personalities and stuff like for example ross's room is lilac it's a lilacish like spice berry sort of color and yeah just all, all all the rooms are really customized so diego did such a good job all the things that i wanted him to change he changed and like he did it so quick so diego once again thank you so much i really appreciate it all right so penelope you're, she's gonna head off to bed now and then obviously in the morning everybody is going to be moving I am just so excited to move into this new house. We have outgrown this house and that's crazy to me because we, I feel like we just moved here like a couple of episodes ago, but we're more than halfway done with this leprosy. Like, what, we're on episode 34, I think, which is, okay, why are you up, Theo? I honestly despise how quick the vampires sleep because then the vampires are up and it's like three in the morning and I'm like, I don't know what I want you guys to do. Okay, why don't you just go and take care of yourself? Take care of your needs a little bit. He doesn't have a job or anything. He honestly, I don't know what his prospects in life are. I feel like he definitely needs a job or something to do. I let's let's check out his traits. So his traits are adventurous, brave, light sleeper, and lucky and night owl. I literally do not know what I would do with those set of traits for him. Like I don't know where in life I would place him 
in what career i just don't know i mean he seems to have a lot of stuff that wa he wants to like party he wants to go have a drink and order some bar food so maybe having him just hang out at the bar and seeing who seeing who he can run into maybe that's like the best option and then whatever friend he makes while he's bar hopping he can be like hey are you guys hiring to his future potential friends and wow jules and bianca are now committed to each other i'm not surprised jules like he had those five romantic interests and i'm pretty sure bianca was one of those five romantic interests so the fact that he moved on to her so shortly after moving into his own place and like getting divorced from penelope i can't say i'm surprised i really i really can't say i'm surprised i'm just gonna have theo why don't i have him talk to i kind of want him to talk to one of his siblings i want to keep the bonds between the siblings really strong oh we could have him talk to ariella why don't we do that instead of having him talk to his siblings it's probably more important for him to get his relationship up with his mom rather than his siblings right he is very close to his twin brother though which i expected because these guys were always chatting with each other when they were in high school so really not that big of a leap to assume that they are still really good friends okay what is ross doing oh he's like already rested that's so crazy to me that how quickly he sleeps in another totally inexplicable act of lunacy joe mcduff decided a show of strength using the easy machine from fred's pc hut at bianca crumplebottom's house was totally acceptable however when the item broke during the effort bianca was less than amused okay so joe is like borrowing stuff from Bianca, I guess. Man, both Jules and Joe are just all over Bianca, aren't they? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have Ross serve up some breakfast. I don't think that this guy has any cooking skill at all. Actually, I'm a liar. He has two points in cooking. Okay, well, whoop de doo I think he can still burn stuff when he's at cooking level two. Like, I don't think that completely just excuses him from being an awful cook. Oh, his carpool is here. No, maybe I can have Penelope pick it up. I do not think Theo has any cooking skill at all. So for him to start cooking makes no sense actually theo is level three and logic i never realized that well maybe we should have him become a cop just like his wife is why don't we do that you know he's already got the logic skill although he could also be in the medical but i feel like oh oh my god i have such a good idea oh my god i just had a brain blast <laughs> because he's a vampire if he joined the medical career he would have like easy access to blood oh my god i had a brain blast and that is such a good storyline okay so we're having Theo. <laughs> Fuck the law enforcement. He is definitely gonna join medical. My mind is made up and of course there's no job on the computer for medical, okay? Guess he's gonna have to go out in person and just go into the hospital and join. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited that he's gonna have all that access to blood. It honestly reminds me of Carlisle from Twilight, how he's like a doctor, but I would say that Theo's intentions are a lot more sinister with becoming a doctor. Like he's not as sort of nice as Carlisle is, where Carlisle can kind of like control his urges to drink blood. No, no, no. Theo is gonna go all out stealing blood from the reservoirs and that sort of thing. Okay, Ross, dude, you have to go to work. You were taking forever to make up these pancakes. He's gonna, he's gonna be late. I know he is because he works at eight and it's 7.51. The carpool's gonna leave. Whatever, it's fine. It's not like we're needing the money. It's not like we're desperate for money. We're honestly fine. He actually made nice quality pancakes. I am proud of you, Ross. I didn't think you had any cooking skill at all but here we are okay so i'm not gonna have cassandra eat the apple pancakes uh because that will influence the sex of her baby i'm gonna have her come downstairs and have some cereal i don't like to have my sims and i and i i have to say this every single time that i complain about food that influences the sex of the baby um but the reason why for people that don't know the reason why i don't have my sims eat like watermelons for girls or apples for boys or anything that contains either of those two fruits is because i like the game to naturally generate a the sex of the baby i don't want it to be influenced by apples and watermelons i think that's just kind of silly and i like to play my sims 3 game like as realistic as possible so that's why i do that if in case you aren't in the loop or you've never heard me say that before okay Anyway, everyone else, though, can come over here and grab some apple pancakes. The rest of them are not exempt from eating them. Only Cassandra is. Stefan is honestly such a good uncle. Like, I don't mind him constantly in the baby's room taking care of, i mean i'm when florian was a baby he took care of florian a lot what i do have a problem with though is how he's creepily watching over penelope as she's sleeping go put harlow in there and please get out of your sister's room that's just weird <laughs> it's just weird he's like this is my baby this is my baby that i will protect with my life how cute he's honestly such a good uncle i bet he has a really high relationship 
with Florian, probably, maybe. He's actually got quite a high relationship with Harlow and Georgia, yes. How about Florian? How is your relationship with Florian? Actually, not too good. His relationship with Florian is not too good. I expected it to be a little bit higher, but I feel like he was the one that was primarily taking care of Florian when Florian was a baby and a little bit when he was a toddler, so... I'm not exactly sure what happened with their relationship, but it could have just declined, you know, it could have, it just could have naturally declined. How is everyone doing? Are we ready to move out, guys? <laughs> Are we ready to uh, fly the nest and go to our brand new house? I think I might need to use a little bit of inheritance. I can actually check here. How much is this house worth? So this house is worth 108884. Now, I think I'm going to have to use one thing of lifetime reward inheritance. So let me go over to Penelope because she's like the head of the household. It kind of only makes sense for Penelope to do the inheritance inheritance so i'm gonna purchase it on her bank account <laughs> and then i'm gonna come over to her okay stefan just screaming in my ear for in in the shower thank you for that I'm gonna make sure everything's in the fridge because i think the leftovers in the fridge should transfer over i forget how that works marcy's calling her who's Mar is that your sister no who the fuck is marcy is that your friend who is marcy oh my god i didn't even realize that she totally has a romantic interest ted singh Cassandra, I thought you were loyal. What the hell? And also, another thing I didn't realize is that Marigold is actually Cassandra's sister-in-law, which is why when Cassandra got kicked out of her household when she was a teenager, she moved in with Marigold. Okay, that makes sense to me now. That makes sense to me. Wait, is Marigold pregnant? It looks like she's wearing pregnancy clothes in her portrait photo. Oh my god. Oh, she's totally pregnant. I can already tell. I can tell she's pregnant. I know it. I just feel it in my bones. Oh, here she is. Here she is. Here she is. Is she pregnant? Is she pregnant? Oh my god. Oh my god. The anticipation is killing me. The anticipation is killing me. Yep, she's pregnant. <laughs> oh no. Quinn, please. You need to be careful when you do these things. Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> Okay, wait, it's not Quinn's baby. <laughs> it's not Quinn's baby. Quinn just nearly made it out of that whole fiasco by the skin of his teeth. Oh my God. <laughs> Quinn, you are so lucky that that baby is not yours because if, if he was having another baby with Marigold, I would probably have to move him out. And I quite enjoy playing Quinn. So like, I don't want to move him out quite yet, but if someone needed to, and if he was having another baby with Marigold, then I surely would. I don't know what, what is, what's going to happen with him and Marigold. Like, I don't know the whole situation. I don't know if they're ever going to get married or if they're ever going to move out together. I'm not sure, but she seems more than willing to like have him join her household. Didn't he invite her to join or someone in invited Quinn to join the household? I don't know if it was Cassandra that asked Quinn to join the household or if it was Marigold. I'm going to assume Marigold because he has no relationship with Cassandra at all, I don't think. Yeah, they like barely know each other. Okay. Well, with that said, um, I think we are ready to move out uh, into the brand new household. Oh, I almost forgot to take my incense with me. Oh, that would have been sad if I forgot to take my little incense. And let me make sure I take all of our photos. I think I already did the whole cleansing of the house where I like make sure I take everything. Wait, I can't use this car. I can't pick it up. I'm gonna put it in the household inventory. Then I don't know why I can't take that car. Where is this from? Heartbreak Hot Rod? Who brought that in? It might have been Cassandra. I bet that was in Cassandra's inventory or something. What is all of this stuff? Wait, we have spoiled hot dogs in our inventory. We've got some photos here of Theo and Cassandra. We've got a radio. Where is all this stuff from? I don't know. I'm going to take all the, like, the spoiled food on my inventory <laughs> just so it's not sitting in there so we can kind of like leave it for the next homeowner <laughs> to take care of. Well, I think some of these, some of this must be wedding gifts i'm pretty sure we got wedding gifts in the last episode and i just forgot to like look through them and see what we got obviously the message is, is gonna be uh not there anymore th that i can check out okay well i think i took all the photos so i think we are all good let me just do one final sleep of the house to say bye bye it's honestly so sad i'm gonna miss this house it served us lots of lots of woohoo lots and lots of babies went through this house jack and ariella i mean they got their money's worth renting this house out to Quinn and Penelope <laughs> and of course oh is she stuck 
Is Penelope stuck behind that box? I hope not. Yep, she's stuck. How did she get back there if she got stuck? Oh my God. When you get stuck behind a cardboard box. Wow. Happens to me all the time. All right. Well, Penelope, I'm going to have you initiate the travel then, the move, not the travel. So I'm going to go to real estate and travel settings. We're going to go within this neighborhood. And I think I should be able to do it by the phone. If not, I can just do it through out of town. I like doing it through the phone though, because it makes me feel like more official. So we have 176608. I don't know why the household last name is McDuff. I'm going to change it back to Bell uh, because obviously Jack and Ariella are bells and they own the house so i'm going to move us into the house that the lovely diego made for me thank you diego and they are going to have 16,277 simoleons when they move into this brand new house so i think this house is called the woodland if i am correct and guys it is eight bedrooms this house is an eight bedroom house is that not insane eight bedrooms like that is so many sims that i can squeeze in and compact and into this one house it's gonna be amazing and of course i'm getting errors as i expected to uh when you move by the phone some some script errors usually happen and it says florian decided it was time for a change and he just moved houses yes it was totally it was totally florian's idea to move houses yes totally completely all right well oh and they just teleported over all right well that makes it easy for me so guys let me put up the walls so you can't see can't get it like a little sneak peek welcome wait what is this house called i think it's called the woodland right yes the woodland mansion is eight bedrooms and six bathrooms that is crazy that is an insane number of bedrooms and bathrooms but we will be needing every single one of those bedrooms and bathrooms so guys this house is very reminiscent to the bell mansion the original bell mansion in the very beginning of this leprosy which i love the fact that the exterior diego did a really good job at matching the exterior to the rest of the world for example here is from the first episode you guys know this house all too well this is the house that ariella and jack called home to but yes here it is so this is the exterior of the old house and then this is what diego made the exterior of the brand new house and we're going to be living in for their foreseeable future so it matches up really well with with the whole supernatural moonlight falls theme which was one of my pieces of criteria I kind of had for him was that I wanted it to look like it belonged in the neighborhood. So uh, walking into the front door, shall I give you guys the grand tour? It is a very Victorian era styling house. Like I said, I wanted it to fit into the theming of Moonlight Falls and the rest of the houses that are here. So the Victoria sort of staircase, Victorian sort of furniture are a must. And Supernatural was a great expansion pack. It has so much Victorian furniture furniture the entire furniture of this expansion pack is themed around victorian theming it's all it's all just that stuff and i love it so much i'm gonna set the lights to bright so that we can kind of see here some of the stuff i added myself like i think i added this picture here i added this clock i added this coffee table so if you decide to download this house there's a couple of renovations that you won't have that i put in here we have a super nice mantle with a fireplace i decorated the mantle all nicely so it has some books on it has like a candle candlestick which has a little fire going you see the little flame and it's got a mirror behind it i feel like i need to add some draperies so i think what happened was diego has cc in his game so some of the things in this house when i went to go place it down there was instead of a mirror which i assume he put a mirror above the sink originally there was like a poster and i was like okay so he only he said in the post that he only uses everything up until supernatural and i believe that he did um i think that maybe a piece of cc might have slipped in here or there or maybe another expansion pack i'm not sure but it wasn't too hard to like replace it so yeah if you download this house there'll probably be a poster here i'm not sure what was there originally but i had to place my own mirror and i, I also redid this bathroom a little bit i think i changed the coloring on the walls and the carpet and yeah that is like the foyer area i love this so 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 much it is very reminiscent of all the other homes in moonlight falls and i'm so excited for our family to play in this household there is so much more room in this house it is so refreshing and i also like the idea of the office being right when you walk in we kind of have like a computer and a central area so we're gonna move over here back to the dining hall 
dining hall <laughs> it's a really big room so it really should be a dining hall the dining table obviously has enough chairs for all of our sims we have a lot of sims so there is a lot of dining chairs that we need and here is the kitchen i love the utilization of the pets furniture for the kitchen i think it fits really nicely i don't know if there really is any nice fridge and like stove and stuff that came with the sims 3 supernatural i can't quite recall but the pets furniture does a really good job at like filling that gap and then we kind of have this garden room back here like more of like a relaxing room penelope is currently practicing her magic in the room right now i love that so much she's already breaking in the rooms for her practicing of magic i'm totally complicit with that and we have a garage why don't we put our all of our cars and our motorbikes and stuff did i take that car i think i took that car right i can put quinn's motorcycle in the garage and then yes yeah, so we have our, our regular car here i'm glad i have like more than one car it's so annoying when when i don't have enough cars for the family and everyone is just like taking taxis and stuff but okay we're good and i think did i have a bike did i take a bike with me i think we did have a bike at the older house i don't remember oh cassandra has one so i'll put her bike outside there there's a bike stand and yeah so that is the first floor guys so we can either go into the basement or we can go upstairs i'm gonna go in the basement first and here is the lovely basement so there are empty rooms in this house just so you know if you have more children or you have more sims more than like however many sims this house holds i think it's like eight sims right there's eight bedrooms so i would assume it fits eight sims but you know if you have a ninth sim or a tenth sim and you need an extra bedroom diego's got you covered there's an empty room here that you can decorate to your heart's content there's also a bathroom over here my game is lagging like a motherfucker right now i don't know why why story progression story progression please like shit out your message what is the problem quinn going to work okay he's going to work right now Ross just finished up his work for the day, so that's actually nice. Uh, he, I'm gonna send him. Oh, he's already home. Okay, he's just, just sitting on the couch on his tabcast. All right, back to the house tour. I think I'm gonna make this Quinn's bedroom. I kind of like the idea of Quinn being in the basement, though it might be more fitting if one of the vampires takes the basement let me see here let me see does anyone have the favorite color of blue quinn no quinn's hair color is pink theo's hair color is white and stefan's is yellow and i was gonna say because the comforter is a bluish sort of like flannel color i was gonna give it to stefan but maybe i'll give it to theo because you know it, it does have some white in it and his hair color is white so <laughs> i might shove theo and cassandra down here so i don't know i'll have to see but we have like a little gym we have a mixology bar and yet another bathroom there's a lot of bathrooms in this house rightfully so i mean when you when you have eight bedrooms you gotta have a lot of bathrooms and we're going to venture to the final floor now this is my favorite floor by far penelope would you like to do us the honors let's go upstairs together we're gonna go upstairs with penelope and she's gonna show us around the upstairs <laughs> i don't know if penelope would have already seen the house i would assume that jack and ariella would have like gave her the rundown of of the house and like the number of rooms and stuff but this is penelope's room over here guys and this is my favorite room in the entire house and it's because i specifically requested that diego customize this room to penelope she is by far probably the most important sim in this entire leprosy like this season is penelope's season you guys know what i mean like this is her season so i specifically requested that the room be decorated with like a greenish color as you guys can tell by her clothes she loves green color is green and because her partner Wu Zhao is from China I also requested Diego to put some Chinese items and like debug objects in Penelope's room because obviously Wu Zhao sent over some furniture because Wu Zhao is going to be moving here in the next episode so da -da -da, here is Penelope's bedroom she has her elixir thingy here where she could research her alchemy it's just such a pretty room and of course she's got her mannequins from the old house she had these also in her bedroom at the old place and i think i just love this room so much so these are debug chinese artifacts from world adventures i would assume that these are vases and then this is probably like one of the things you can find in the tombs um but we have some chinese fans here we have a Chinese poster. I just really appreciate that Diego took the time to put the Chinese objects. And I was being kind of annoying. I was like, Diego, would you mind putting some Chinese stuff? Because Wu Zhao <laughs> is going to be moving and living here with Penelope. And he's like, yeah, sure. And I just, I really appreciate that. So I love this room so much. I love how it's personalized to Penelope. It perfectly fits who she is and the things in her life that she's gone through. One of my favorite rooms for sure. And then let's venture to my second favorite 
second room in the house, Ross's room. So I think when Ross was a teenager, it was more evident. I mean, his shirt right now is this purplish color, um, but I also requested Diego to make Ross's room more individual to him. So Ross's room, obviously Ross loves the col color lilac. He's got a lilac shirt on. When he was a teenager, he wore like a complete lilac slash pinkish tux to prom. <laughs> if you don't believe me, I have the prom photos to prove it. Why is Gator in his graduation robes? I never looked through these photos before. <laughs> that is so funny. Anyway, <laughs> I can't stop laughing. I wonder if Ross like chewed Gator out for wearing a uh, graduation robes to prom. <laughs> anyway, so here is Ross's completely lilac slash purple slash spice berry colored tux. I love this photo so much. I'm going to keep it actually in his room. I might put it... We can take one of these off the wall. Maybe this like car one. I feel like Ross would not know the first thing about cars. So here we go. I'm going to raise this up so it kind of like fits the aesthetic here. And yeah, I just love it so much. Oh, wait, I think we can also maybe delete this one and put in this. Oh, no, that's Theo and Cassandra. I was going to be like, wait, maybe we can put a photo strip. But I think these are. Yes, here they are. Oh, my God. My heart is so warm. Look at them together. I've never looked at these photos. I think I had them take them and then I just never ended up looking at the photos but i love to put these more sort of like personalized things in my sims's rooms so i got carried away anyway here is the rest of the room now this is ross's room and obviously it's customized to ross so if you download this house you might have like a little bit of recoloring to do just because it's so specific to my sims but you know it, it is out there if you would like to use it so we have yet another bathroom and this is another room that i also requested this is the last room i will say this for but this is another room that I requested to be customized because Florian's favorite color is actually pink. So I asked Diego to put like pink stuff in Florian's room. And yeah, he's got like a completely pink room. I think it's so adorable. And I love to input my Sims favorite colors in the room. I think it just it makes them feel like they are real people and it makes them feel alive. I think we're going to need a potty chair though because Florian needs to go and use the restroom. So I'm going to place down a potty chair so that he can go and use the bathroom from now on i've always i'm gonna promise that i will always put the potty chairs in the bathroom i've done this thing before where my house is i put the potty chairs in the actual nursery itself and that doesn't make sense to me because i don't think you would be putting a toilet full of poo and pee in the kids bedroom that just doesn't seem too smart <laughs> so i'm gonna have someone bring florian oh that's nice someone did not take florian with them when they moved houses okay uh well penelope what oh my god no one took the babies either what is going on with this house wait what is why why are all the cassandra Cassandra, take Florian. Oh my God, what a bad mother. <laughs> <laughs> Penelope's like, I'm gonna leave by all my kids back at this house. Um, I just don't want to deal with them anymore. <laughs> okay, Penelope, you gotta come over here and maybe Ross come over here too. How did Stefan, being the good uncle he is, not take his nieces and nephews? Oh, it's because he's here too. Well, isn't that great? Why don't you both go over to the new house? I don't understand. Okay, go and take Florian, just carry him to the new place. <laughs> I can't believe. I just am I'm, I'm perplexed that Penelope left her children here oh is this a deer oh, there's a deer oh look at that just a wild deer jumping through moonlight falls how nice is that all right penelope it's time to not be a bad mother anymore come and take your children please <laughs> I just I can't believe she did that I'm honestly I'm just I'm, I'm in shock I'm in utter shock okay Ross you got to take care of one of the babies too and carry them home they can't get there themselves they gotta they gotta rely on you guys and they're both gonna go and head home obviously um as they should have in the first place just like take the babies with them not leave them at the house I don't know who they were expecting to take care of them but uh yeah I don't know just uh it's quite puzzling to me so everyone should be at the brand new house so i'm gonna have cassandra go and put florian in like the his room or upstairs in that vicinity and then he can kind of just do things on his own accord i think he's all taught like he knows everything yeah he just have been one day so he's all ready and he's all set i think he knows how to talk and walk at this point so he doesn't need to do anything else he's we just gotta it's, it's basically a waiting game for him at this point why don't you come downstairs and the fridge just blended in with everything else I 
just like almost looked over it. I'm gonna have her go and eat some egg rolls for dinner. Ross, go put the babies downstairs, please. So this is going to be Harlo and George's room. I just decided to put them in the basement. I know it's kind of far away from Penelope and obviously like those are her babies. So you would think that she would want to be in close proximity to her kids, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They're all the way down in the basement. I don't think that that's necessarily a problem. She just needs to make sure that she pays attention to her baby monitor. And hey, if that's like the place that they can fit in the babies, then that's got to be the place where they can fit in the babies. You know what I mean? So Uncle Ross is going to come over and feed Harlow right now. When did they age up? I feel like they've been babies forever. Two more days. Jesus, they have a long time. I mean, two sim days. Damn. It's not like a long, long time, but I honestly thought it was going to be like tomorrow with Florian, but I guess not. So we'll have a birthday. Wait, why is Stefan taking care? I feel like Stefan is just, he loves children. He really loves children. Wait, Florian doesn't know how to talk? Oh no, he does. Okay, I read that wrong. I'm going to have him put Florian down and then he's going to go and practice his piano skills because like that's what he, that's his passion in life. That's what he likes to do. Theo, why don't you come over and go and practice some chess? He is sleeping in the wrong bed. I think I want Quinn's room to be this red one over here. Not that his favorite color even aligns with this room. I mean, I guess it kind of does because the walls are kind of pinkish. Penelope's just over here. She's vibing to some music. I'm going to have her pop in a cooking tap cast because she wants to improve her cooking skill. And I think what a better time to do it than while she's just chilling, listening to her brother perform. I can probably actually have her play some chess with Theo. I think she's not too shabby in chess herself. Yeah, she's level almost level six in logic. So she's probably really adept at playing chess. Theo is gonna be a pretty good opponent for Penelope to have, I'm, I think. And her tap cast did not shut off, surprisingly, even though she's talking to Theo as she's playing chess. I like that a lot. Oh, and I think Quinn, <gasps> Quinn just got a promotion. So good job, Quinn. Not that it, we even really need the money, but maybe we will because I, I, I have a feeling that Quinn is probably gonna be moving out. If there's one Sim that's going to be moving out relatively soon, I think it's gonna be Quinn. And oh God, Theo is talking about bouncing baby boys. I think he's manifesting the idea of Cassandra having a baby boy. Speaking of which, why don't we have Cassandra head over to the clinic now? Yes, where it may be 930 at night. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have her go anyway and we're going to have her actually we could have her probably go with theo and obviously since he's a dad it's important for him to go and see his an ultrasound of his baby i'm just so excited all right guys go and head on over she actually wants to continue to discover potions which i wonder if it is because she wants to make her future child's imaginary friend doll real perhaps potentially i, I think that that is a very uh reasonable conclusion to come to i don't like the idea of it being right in front of the door either i guess i could remove this sort of situation over here no i might put it out here in like the the gardens like the lush area it, it doesn't look too bad i, I must say you know kind of looks like this is just like pesticides to take care of all the plants so i like the idea of it being out here but she's gonna go and head over to the clinic right now and oh my god there's a little kitty a stray cat should we adopt him let's come over here and adopt him okay oh wow so much is happening in this episode we're adopting a stray cat we moved into a brand new house and we adopted a stray cat so hello stray cat why does he have a favorite color is that right i don't think it's supposed to be like that wait a second wait a second i think i might need to reset him because he seems to be a little bugged out right now so let me reset him he shouldn't have a favorite color as a cat I also can't check his traits or anyone's traits for that matter. So that's really great. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, I think it, it fixed itself. Okay, yes, but he still has no traits. What the hell? I might just need to randomize some traits for this cat. We're gonna go change. Does he have any at all? No, he has no traits at all. Okay, uh, populate traits. This should just give him some random traits, right? Oh, it did. Okay, perfect. So he's clueless, genius, non-destructive, quiet, and skittish. I like those traits for him. Yeah, okay, and we also need a cat name. So what letter of the alphabet are we on? We are on letter I because we just had baby Georgia and Harlow. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. I'm thinking maybe we should name him something. I'm, I'm, my, my first initial thought is Indigo. I like the name Indigo. I don't know if I've ever named anything in my life indigo and i'm pretty sure indigo is a name so we're gonna name him indigo and we are going to make his last name bell speaking of last names right now we need to change penelope's back damn stefan is just bopping in here god he really is just enjoying his life wait why did it, it just changed 
It says that Stefan is a cat. <laughs> Stefan is now indigo. Okay, there's so much loudness going on. Hold on a second here. Penelope, get your butt up. I need to change her name back to Penelope Bell. I feel like Penelope Bell is so much better than Penelope McDuff. I don't know why. Just the Bell last name. It's such a such an iconic last name. Such a such a prolific last name in this series. And apparently now everyone is indigo. So that's cool. <laughs> All of my sims are just cats. I love it. I'm probably gonna need to do a total time reset after this. I'm gonna have Penelope go and head downstairs to take care of Harlow and Georgia. They're needing a little bit of attention here, a little bit of assistance, and who better to take care of them than their own mom. And of course, because Penelope is a witch and she now has a cat, Indigo, she gets this moodlet, Animal Familiar, which I think makes her cast more accurate spells or makes her magic skill rise faster. I think it's the magic skill. Oh, okay, thank you, Quinn, for taking care of the babies. I appreciate that, actually. That's really helpful. I'm just gonna have him go and give her a bottle and change her diaper. Okay, I think my game is really bugging out right now <laughs> because of the situation I just had where I added Indigo in the household in a bad way. I definitely did not add him that elegantly and it's like causing corruption in my game, but I can just fix it with this total time reset. It's no big deal. Penelope, I'm going to have her go upstairs. Apparently she needs, she has an opportunity to work out for four hours. So I'm going to have her go upstairs and we are going to have her, where's the TV in this house? It's over here, I think, right? Yes. I'm gonna have her go do some strength training. I'm gonna have her just do a basic workout. And let's see, so Cassandra and Theo now got out of the clinic. Let's see what the doctors reported that Cassandra is having. Drum roll, please. Cassandra's having a male, a baby boy, meaning that her want to have a boy will be completed. Though there still is potential, guys. There still is potential. She could potentially have a girl if she has twins or triplets as you can see here there is a 15 percent chance of twins and only a five percent chance of triplets but there is the chance is always there it's not like it's like not there at all it's it's there also ted who cassandra is still romantically interested in is now a young adult so i'm gonna have her go over to ted and call it quits with him i just have a really hard time believing that she would still be romantically interested with head when she is married to a guy like Theo like an all-around roundhouse sim and of course the game my game is so bugged right now that it's not reading Theo as her husband even though I'm like clearly clicked on her portrait it's okay I will live so here Cassandra comes wobbling around with her pregnant belly I'm gonna have her go up to Ted and be like hey um I'm married now so I really do not want anything to do with you oh my dear god I need to reset my game <laughs> and of course he did not take it well which is pretty uh pretty expected i think anyways guys i am going to end this episode right here i feel like we did so much in this episode i want to thank diego once again for building this beautiful wonderful house for me and this leprosy in specific once again if you would like to download it there will be a link in the top of the description box but other than that guys i will catch you all in the next one and peace out